For these mods, I want to give a huge shout out to the Forza Mods community on Discord for supplying all these mods. I'm going to show you how to install. With clarification before getting into this video, I'd like to clarify that if you do get banned for doing this, I'm not one to blame. If you don't want to get banned, just don't mod. Or if you do this, go on a different account, not your main account. If you do use your main account, I'd suggest staying offline. This is going to be my tutorial on how to install mods for Forza Horizon 5. And for today, we're going to install Oxide's car pack and this custom wheel pack. These will be linked in the description. For these, you can use WinRAR, 7-Zip. Pretty sure you know by now. And extract these. Got those extracted, and in here, there'll be readme files where to place these but there's some things you need to do before getting to that now if you're on steam it's very simple so i'll be doing this with the windows version as well to show how it's done for steam you come into steam library come to game manage and you browse your local files and here's the files to your game now for the Windows Store version, it's a bit more complicated. Now for the Windows version, you may or may not have to do this, but you have to sign up to the Xbox Insider program. I don't know if you have to do this because I was already signed up to it, but you sign up to the Xbox Insider program. And what you need to do is go to the Microsoft Store and install this, Xbox Insider Hub and you come to previews and you'll see this Windows Gaming profile this preview will be in here you click on it and it would usually say join you join it and once you've joined it you would come to the Microsoft Store come to your library and you'd go up here and press get updates and you should get a couple updates your Windows system. I can't remember exactly what it calls, but you'll have a couple updates you will. So there'll be betas. Next you need to open the Xbox app. Now in some tutorials they said you had to move your Xbox app, but for me I didn't. Hover over your game, click three dots, and you press manage game, come to files, and in here you could browse your game files. Just like that. There you go. Now from here on out, if you're on using the Steam version or the Windows version, it's the same on both. Now what, we, what I'm going to do now is Oxide's car pack. And of course you can read the readme and it'll tell you what to do. You've got these cars here. And you would come in here, your full size 5, you come to Media, Stripped. Media Override, and you should have this folder, RC0. If you don't, you can create it. And if you do, you come in here, create the folder for cars, or you could just simply... In this RC0 folder, you just drag this cars folder. Of course, you can see what cars are in here. You can take out what ones you don't want it to change. You, these are fairly simple. See BMW, E36, M3. NIS is short for Nissan, Nissan Silvia. Toy, short for Toyota. The Sprint is the 86. You can practically drag this straight into here. I already have them in here, along with some other cars I did. That's it for Oxide's car pack. It's literally that simple. Now for the wheel pack, it's fairly simple, fairly much the same thing. Go for the 5 files open, got this. Of course, you can read the readme and it'll tell you what to do. You go to media, media. If you're just doing this wheel pack, you can just drop it straight in and replace everything. Got stripped, stripped. Media override, media override, RC0, RC0. Cars, cars, library. Library, scene, scene, and 
in wheels you just grab all these like just tie like all these and just drop them in and in this readme it'll tell you which wheels were replaced and what these wheels are are wheels from other cars such as Lamborghini Diablo, the RTR Mustangs you know cool rims like that which you can't get in the game usually on other cars now once the game's loaded up the cars that it replaced with these apart from the P1 but all of these have got custom mods to them I'm going to show you how you upgrade these cars and customize them to make them look right so I'm using this the stock S13 to show you which we replaced how you change the body parts of course you know or the aero you change it until you get stuff like this like so sick and of course you remember we replaced the rims as so you come to rims as far as I could tell it's only in sports rim style not all in here it doesn't replace all of them but some of these you may recognize from other cars but it's, it's just so sick like you know there's Von Gittin Jr's RTR Mustang rims like it's just it's just so sick Like, it's just... <laughs> Takes me back to Full Horizon 1, this does. Of course, some of these are going to end up being broken unless the the developers of these mods will update them. Now, if you don't have, you know, a Super Bowl or PC, you'll run into issues like this. We have weird problems with your cars. So as you can see, you can see the light bars up in the air. The tail light's a bit bugged. Stuff like the E36 has the rear bumps all wigged out and stuff. What you need to do is come to your settings. Come to graphics. Of course, if you have a Super Bowl on PC, then this is not an issue. Uh, but if you have a low-end PC, such as I, I mean, I have a GT, GTX 1060. I won't call that high-end. You come to world car level and you set this to ultra. And it'll fix it. See the tail lights fixed, light bars gone. That's the method I found to fix this. But yeah, that was the tutorial. Hope you have fun with these cars and I'm excited to see what other people create for this game.